are you doing my name is Lawrence and welcome to another episode of our graphic design class so in today's tutorial we're going to be creating this social media file let's get right into it so first of all we're going to create a new file and social media flyer the resolution for social media flyer is 1080 by 1080 pixels this is it here. 1080 by 1080 pixels so once you're satisfied with this our resolution to be should be 300 rgb color for the color mode and leave the rest as they are and click on create so once i've done that first thing we're going to be doing we're going to be adding our guide layout so come and click on new guide layout and set this to 30 pixels set this as so and click on ok once you're done with that we're going to be adding our background color come to this gradient tool here if you can see it right click here it might be under here right click and click on gradient tool then you double click on this part and this window will pop up so what you're going to do you're going to look for a blue color under the blues you're going to pick a dark blue color um let's go with this and click on it okay so i want to drag from this top part to the other end of our design so as you can see or if you want another shade of blue you can still come here and change the blue color let's say we want to use this so click on this there are different color mode you can see here there's linear there's radial there's angular there's reflected and there's diamond so depending on the way you want to use so let's try reflected linear and see this is how linear looks like see i've said this is how linear looks like so let's use this one so next we're going to be adding our image before we do that let's lock our guide to avoid movement so we'll lock our guide so i've locked our guide so we're going to start adding our image so this is the image we'll be adding first we'll drag it into our photoshop and place it here but before we place it let's come to edit transform and flip horizontal because this is where we want our design to be pointing to so we're going to drag this here and expand the size and once we're satisfied with the size we have if you want you can make it bigger Yeah, this okay. So we'll just position it and bring it out a little bit. Yeah, this okay. So click on our tick mark and lock this layer to avoid movement too. So once we have locked it, we're going to start adding our text. But before that, let's hide this first and add a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a very long rectangle. First of all, let's remove the stroke and change the fill to a white color. So I'm going to draw a long rectangle. So a long one. But not too wide but not, but not too long a wide rectangle but not too long so we're going to keep it like this 93 pixels for the height and 174 1724 for the width and once i've done this you can see we have achieved the white rectangle we wanted but we want to rotate it let's rotate it this way so we'll rotate it let's keep rotating it and yeah come back to our move tool and we'll drag this and place it here once i've placed one here i'm going to make a copy of it click and drag and bring it down here i made the copy then click and drag out so i've made a copy of it so i want to group this together and name them rectangle so and lock them so bring our image back on take our image directly above sorry take our image above this so as you can see so we have taken it up we're now going to start adding our text click here and type increase your then we'll click on our tick mark and add another text and type instagram enter follower so click on our tick mark too so i'm going to change the font for this text come back to our move tool let's drag this to this side of our design then come to our character and we're going to use build tiling yeah build tile i'm going to use a semi bold italic so i'm going to increase the font size let's take it up to 24 point yeah, I think 24 should be okay. Or well, let's make it 29. 
29.6 yeah that's better so reduce the line spacing between them let's try and find the perfect line spacing for them yeah this is okay so once we're done with that we're going to drag this here and still give it the same font build tiling semi bold italic so i'm going to link this font file in the description link so you can be able to download it so expand this and make it the same size we give it the same 29.6 29.6 point sorry 29.6 once we have that we're going to do we we'll select this increase and bring the size down to around 16 points let's make it 18 yeah that's better so going to delete the space between them and try and position it directly on top of this here and click on our tick mark as you can see we've started achieving our design so let's select all of them and try and position them close by here so take it up a bit up again let's bring it down so it's okay like this what we're going to do we're going to group these two together but before we do that let's edit this increase and change the color a red color so come to character color and give it a bright red so click on ok and click on our tick mark and group these two together group and name them text so we're going to be adding a text at the bottom here so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our click on this place here to unselect the text folder here. So it, it won't change the font. So we'll go back to our Montserrat font. I'm going to be using a Montserrat medium. Or let's a Montserrat regular. Then we'll create a text box at the bottom here. So we'll click and create a text box. So and place it and leave it here. As you can see, then we'll reduce the, the size. Let's bring it down to a nine point. Okay, now let's bring it down to six point yeah that's better so let's expand this text box to this margin here that we created and yeah that's perfect so click on our tick mark so this is our text here so we'll click and drag it into this folder here of text this could be created and we'll lock it so we're done with the text for now so next we're going to be adding our design so come to our folder and select all these designs and drag them into photoshop so first with this one, we'll resize it and place it here. Let's reduce it a bit still. Let's place it here. Yeah, it's okay like this. So click on our tick mark to place that one. So for the next one, for this hat icon, we'll drag this and drop it down here at the bottom. And click on our tick mark. The next one going to be adding this one again too so reduce the size and we'll drop this here at the bottom click on our tick mark again then to place the last one we're going to reduce the size and place it directly above the girl's head to this side here so once I've done that let's see reduce click on our tick mark to place it so once we have placed all of this in our design i'm going to make some changes to this these two bottom icons here so once we click on this one come to your filter and come to blow and come to motion blow it's a list of blow options that you can use in photoshop so i'm going to use motion blow and if you take note let me show you what happens here this is what happens when you blow give it a motion blow let me zoom out a bit so this is what happened so once you're using a motion blow once you add the distance you can see it's blurring it and it's like shifting outward so if you you can change the angle the angle affect the direction in which the motion blow motion blows goes to so align it let's say and align it to the it's a nine degrees you can see 
we are aligning it that's what i'll get so let's keep it at zero degrees you can see then we'll click on okay you can see set it to be high very high as you have seen i'll bring it down a bit i'm going to leave mine at 183 and do the same thing for this one once you click on it just come to filter you can just see the motion blow on top here it's this is your this option under the menu bar get, saves the recent the recent tool used in this menu bar so as you can see we use the motion blow so you can see the you can see it here so click on motion blow and you can see the same effect applies to it so you can see so click on okay once we have done that we're going to group all of these icons we added into one group and group them and we'll name it icons click on okay and lock it so once we've added that the next thing we're going to be adding we're going to be adding our instagram handle so let's click here and type our instagram handle just type at at the underscore lead 22 so this is our instagram handle so then last we're going to be adding our logo to our design so we're going to place this here so i've placed this here we're going to be adding our logo so we'll come to shape expand this menu and click on custom shape click on custom shape and you drop down this menu on the option bar you can see different options you can see boards you can see leaves you can see flower you can see these are different you can see you can see different is no boots so we're going to be using it here under the animal white animal section so this is the deer here i'll select it and i'll hold shift and click and drag to make a perfect deer so you can see this is the deer give it a white fill go back to our move tool then what we're going to do to we don't want this outline here this is the shape we want so we'll just click and click rasterize layer so once we rasterize layer you can rotate it freely and we'll place it just up here and click on our tick mark then we'll add our logo name let's type the lead give a hyphen in between and control a come to your characters panel and give it a Montserrat bold and click on our tick mark so once you have placed that you can just come here and place this here so in our background we want the darker side of this gradient on this top side so what we're going to do we'll just come back to our gradient and click on this reverse here uncheck the box if this is check uncheck it then we can draw our gradient from here to here and you can see we have our darker gradient our darker color in the in the top so this is what i want for my design so and close this so this is just a very simple social media flyer if you want you can make some changes let's drag this rectangle up a bit drag it outside yeah so this is a very simple social media flyer and this is the end of the tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next one bye